Hi, welcome back to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. We're going to be harvesting honey today. Some of the materials that I'm going to need to harvest the honey are some cheesecloth, a strainer, a bucket for the honey to drip into, a bowl for my scraps, a sharp knife, and a container of hot water. We generally don't harvest very much honey during the year because we want to make sure that the bees have enough for themselves to last through the winter. They need about 60 pounds of honey to survive the winters safely. So we just have a few frames here, and that's why we don't go into the big production of buying all these other equipment. This is just very simple, and this is what works for us, and this is what we do. I'm setting up my workstation. I put my cheesecloth inside of my strainer, and this is where I'll be putting all the honey so that it'll go through the strainer and into the bucket, and that's where I'll be harvesting the honey. I have a thermos to put my hot water in, and then I'm going to dip my knife in there. I use the sharp knife and the hot, and make sure that it's hot, because I'm going to be cutting off some wax off the honey. So if you can see right here, you'll see that this is honey, but it's covered in wax. So I'll be using the knife to cut that wax off, scooping this out, putting it in the strainer, and then the honey will dip through into the bucket. really a messy job. Very sticky, but it tastes pretty good. And when I was gathering the honey, I left the frame out a little bit too long and the bees started scavenging the honey. And you can see that they really chewed up the comb to get to all the honey. They did leave me a little bit left on the bottom here.
I got all the honey scraped off of the frames that I was using and I have it all in this container now. So this is what it looks like right now. And I'm going to go ahead and take the clothespins off. And I'm going to put the cheesecloth over the top of it. And this keeps it clean because it's going to sit for a couple of days as it drips through. And then I save the wax for other projects. So I'm going to show you the inside of the bucket. I got all the frames emptied and now I'm going to go ahead and put some of the honey in some jars. And I get a lot of different kinds of jars. I usually pick them up at the thrift store. And I like small jars. That way, if I get guests on the little farm, I can send them home with a little gift. And we do gift a lot of our honey. We save a lot for ourselves, and we gift a lot of it. We don't generally try to sell our honey or do anything commercial with it. We just like to have it for ourselves. more honey through the next few days as the honey drips through the cheesecloth and the strainer and if you're careful you can listen and hear it dripping but right now I have several jars for today and I want to thank you for visiting the little farm we'll see you next time bye